welcome to the third video in the series and this video is just for a little extra help to the beginners so if you are struggling yet to make the environment and maybe you are facing some issues so this is the video that might just help you if you have successfully installed take enter as well as qskit just feel free to skip this video so now let's first uh, in the search box uh, type for anaconda so it will by default uh, we have this base environment that will be activated so we shall deactivate it deactivate you can see the base return beside the directory has been uh, has been wiped off so now just go to the directory where uh, you have kept your project so where you want to build the project for me it is in the d drive so i have navigated to the d drive and in d drive i have it in a folder named quantum glasses so here we go and this should me take me to the quantum glasses now uh, the name of my uh, environment we are we are environment was quanta so before if you have not created it just uh, you can simply create it using this command here so you can just copy it and uh, just paste it here whatever your whatever the name you desire to give your environment just make sure one thing that you make a Python environment with the version Python 3.8. Uh, that's the only difference, uh, no nothing else. Because Qskit uh, might just cause little problems with 3.9, so it's better to go with 3.8. Now, if you, I am assuming that you have created your environment, and if you want to check uh, if you have created or not, you can just type Anaconda Navigator. You can see here just open this click here open and it will open uh, it will take some si time so i have already kept it open so once it opens it will look something like this and you can see here applications on base root so if you just uh, click on this drop down list you can see here there are two other virtual environments so it, this is the list of all the virtual environments that that are created in your system so this is the by default base root and these are the other two as i told you quanta is the one that i use to uh, create the project that we are working on so if you have executed the command properly you should find your uh, name of your environment here if the name isn't here then uh, there's some problem for sure okay so if i am hoping that uh, you have your name here now once you have your name here the name of your virtual environment in this list you can activate it here so this is the directory where i created and you can just conda activate and name of your virtual environment in my case quant so you can see in brackets it's written here quanta it means that i have successfully created the virtual environment and it is now activated so inside this uh, environment i will first install qskit and for that you can just go on this page see this is the command that we should use just copy this you can use this one i don't think it will create problems but since our purpose is uh, for visualization especially, uh, especially so we can just go with this one uh, again just paste it here and you should click enter and this will install everything i'm not doing it because i already everything installed and after we uh, have installed fishkit the next step is to pip install tk this will install tk enter and once uh, both the so it will just show some downloadings and all so once you have done that uh, you can just uh, deactivate your environment 
and you should uh, just uh, you can just get rid of this from so wherever you have so wherever you have your environment just go to it and open it with your editor and i have opened uh, it in uh, visual studio code so after that you can see here this is a our file that we will be working on in this tutorial series so once you have this just import kiskit and import tkinter if it shows uh, just run it if it shows you any error that uh, errors like module not found then just realize that you ha uh, you have not installed the modules correctly so uh, generally the error will be module not found and that error indicates that either you have not uh, uh, installed the uh, inside install the packages inside the environment or uh, you have not given the path uh, to the, the environment variables either of the two so that's one thing and i hope uh, this is fine uh, because uh, i think i've covered almost every point and the video that uh, uh, I gave you in the last video in the description. I think that would have helped and there should not be need for this video but the only reason was to make this video that even if someone is struggling that I can just help a little and I think it should be enough and learn to work uh, in the virtual environments. It's really important handling all these things. So I hope I I think that's it for this video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.